May I help you? I'm returning a book. Do you need anything else? I also need to check out this video. This is all you want to check out? Just the video. I'm going to need your library card. I have it right here. You'll need to take care of the video. I will. We will fine you if you damage it. I get it. Thank you. Hi, Todd. How's it going? Things are going well. How are you, Mary? I've also been doing well. You know, I've been thinking about maybe taking in a movie this weekend. Do you like to go to the movies? Yes, I really enjoy the movies. Well, I've been hoping that we could spend some time together away from here. I was wondering if you would like to go out Friday evening for dinner and a movie. Sure, that sounds good. Is there any movie in particular that you might be interested in? I was thinking about that movie, Australia. Yeah, that looks like one that we both might enjoy. If I picked you up at 7, would that work out okay for you? 7 o'clock would be great. Fine, then I'll see you at 7. I am looking forward to a great evening. I would like high-speed internet installed in my house. You have to make an appointment before we can come out and install it. I'd like to make an appointment right now. What day are you available? I would like to have it done this Friday. 3 o'clock is the only time we can come in. Is it possible for someone to come a little earlier? I'm sorry, but that's our only available time. How about Saturday? We're completely open on Saturday. Can you come over at 11? That'll be fine. How are you? I'm fine. How can I help you? I need to get a haircut, so can I schedule an appointment? What day would you like to make the appointment? I was thinking Saturday. All right, let me check to see if we have any openings that day. That's fine. You can only make an appointment for Saturday morning. Is 10.30 okay? I'll pencil you in for that time. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. We'll see you on Saturday. I'm not sure about how to operate the washer and dryer. What's the problem? I need help turning them on. You need change? The machine takes change? Yes, it costs 50 cents for the washer and a dollar for the dryer. Where do I put the money in? You put the coins into the slot, push it in, and it will turn on. That's it? There's nothing else to it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Let me know if you need anything else. Did you feed the puppies today? Yes, I have. That's good. Just make sure to bathe them later. No problem. I can do that for you. Thank you. You know, they have to go to the vet on Saturday. I know. What time do they go? Their appointment is at 11 o'clock in the morning. Okay, I won't forget. I have an issue. What is it? I had scheduled a delivery for today. So, what is the problem? The delivery was four hours late. I'm so sorry for them being late. I was late for work because I had to wait up for them. I do apologize. I would like to be refunded my money for the delivery. You'll be refunded for the delivery. It'll be no problem. I shouldn't have to pay for such horrible service. I'll refund you your money right away. How do you decide what grade we get? I look at many things, attendance, quizzes, and tests. What is the most important factor? Obviously, I look for improvement as we go along, but I would like you to do your best from the beginning. How can we keep track of our grades? The final and midterm are 40% of your grade. Homework, attendance, and quizzes total 60%. What if we can't get to school? You can only miss one class without penalty. If we have a major problem, will you let us know? I will be letting you know during the year if you have a major problem. May I exchange this DVD player? Certainly. Do you have your receipt? Here you are. Now, why do you want to exchange it? It won't play a DVD. I'm sorry. I'll get you a new player. At first, I thought it was me. <laughs> okay. Here's a new one for you. Where is some fresh produce that's on sale? Well, I think you'll like the mangoes. I've never had a mango. It's a fruit. It has a big stone in it. Can you eat the stone? No. You would break all your teeth on it. How much are these mangoes? The sale price today is one dollar each. Can you describe their taste? They usually taste sweet, but they remind me of an orange. How can I tell if they're ripe? 
Don't cut into them until you can feel that they are soft on the outside. What country produces them? They come from tropical countries. How's everything with you today? I'm fine, thank you. What can I do for you? I need to transfer money. Do you know which account you want to take the money from? From my savings account. Where are you transferring the money to? I would like it transferred to my checking account. How much? I want to transfer two hundred dollars. Will that be all? Yes, that will be all. What can I do for you? I have a serious problem. Explain it to me. I never got a bank statement for fees that I owe. I'm sorry, but I guess we didn't send a statement out. My fees increased because I didn't know about my fees. I see where that is a problem. Can you fix it? I will cancel the fees that you owe. You're canceling all the fees. You still need to pay the initial fee. That'll be fine. I have to miss school next week. Isn't there some way you could work your schedule out to be here? Unfortunately, that is what I have to do. How are you going to catch up? I've got it all covered. If you miss this class, you will have used up your quota for the semester. Don't worry, this will be the last class I miss. Make sure to remind me right before you are absent. I'll remember. Enjoy your day off, and don't forget to study. I am absolutely famished. Yeah, I am too. Where do you want to go for lunch? I was thinking we should just go to the cafeteria. I don't think I ever got food from the cafeteria. I actually like the food there. Does the cafeteria sell out a lot of different food? They have anything you want. I was thinking about getting some Chinese food. I bought some chow mein at the cafeteria. It tasted great. We can eat at the cafeteria then. I think you'll really like the food there. Did you go to the basketball game on Friday? No, I couldn't make it. You missed a really good game. Oh, really? Who won? Our school did. They played really well. Too bad I was busy. I really wanted to go. Yeah, you should have. It was really exciting. So what was the score? The score was one hundred and one to ninety-eight. Man, that was a really close game. That's what made it so great. I'll make sure and make it to the next one. How do you feel about this restaurant? I really liked it. I really enjoyed the food. What did you enjoy the most? I enjoyed the fish the most. The fish was pretty special, but I loved the dessert. The macadamia cake was out of this world. I really felt that the service was exceptionally good. Yes, the service really added to the experience. I am looking forward to returning to this restaurant. Have you gone to school today? I went to school today. Did you go to school? I couldn't go to school today. I was sick. That's horrible. I'd be happy to give you the assignments from English class. Thank you very much. That's kind of you. Don't mention it. When you miss a day of school, I'll be happy to give you the English assignments. That is greatly appreciated, and I hope you feel well enough to go to school tomorrow. Can you tell me what the date and time of our field trip is? We are leaving on our science field trip at eight a.m. next Monday. Do you have something to write that down on? Yes, I can write that on my calendar. That will be on the second of December. Be there half an hour early to get your bags on the bus. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. The bus will bring you back six days later on December eighth. Is someone coming to get you? No, I don't have a ride yet. We will be leaving the campground at five in the evening and arrive at our campus at eight p.m. Any more questions? How much will the trip cost? I put all that information in the packet. I'll give you another copy if you need one. See you on Monday. These books should have been turned in last week. You have come to the correct place. Hand me your books. Here they are. Whoa, these are pretty late. You owe five dollars total to clear your fine. I don't have the money right now. We only require that all fines must be paid off by the end of the semester, so you will be okay to go. What would happen if I didn't pay it? It's really important to always clear your fines, so you'll get a report card and transcripts on time. Yeah, but I don't know how they can do that. 
Always remember that the night drop is here, and we really appreciate you returning your books for all to use. Can we talk? What about? I'm not too clear on some things about my lease. Is there a problem? How many years is my lease for? In three years, your lease will be up. Can I move out before those three years? If you do, I will keep your deductible. Why would you keep it? I would keep it because you would be breaking our contract. I get it now. I hope that I clear things up for you. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, and I would like to ask you about a few things. Hi, nice to meet you. Sure, ask me anything you need to know. So far, everyone that I've met seems so helpful. We all seem to get along pretty well. Have you lived here a very long time? I first moved here ten years ago. I am having trouble figuring out the best places to shop and such. I am a pretty good source for all of that information. You could go to the local farmers market with me today if you wish. I would love to go with you. I'll be leaving around ten o'clock. I'll pick you up. Where is your favorite vacation spot? Joe and I love going to Hawaii every summer. Ted and I have never been there. It's a beautiful and relaxing place. Uh, Ted doesn't like beaches. He likes to sightsee. There are many places to sightsee. I may have to talk him into it. We have a lovely condo you could stay in. How much do you charge? We won't charge you. You're my best friend. That meeting was a waste of time. I agree. We didn't get anything done. Sylvia was against everything. She wouldn't listen to anyone's ideas. How can the boss handle her negative personality? They're good friends. How can Sylvia have any friends? She is so pessimistic about everything. I know. All she does is complain all day. Should we talk to Jim? That's not going to do anything. Jim is a naysayer too. Would you like to go out to dinner this Saturday? No, thank you. I already have plans. What about next Saturday? I have plans next Saturday too. You have a busy schedule. Yes, I do. Mom, do I have to go to the family reunion? Yes, Sam. Why don't you want to go? It's boring, and I have no one to talk to. You have a lot of cousins. I know. But they are all younger than me, so you could entertain them. Okay. Your grandparents will be very disappointed if you do not attend. Okay. Where is it going to be? It's going to be at an Italian restaurant. Italian food is your favorite. I know. How long is it going to be? Probably a few hours. Can I leave early? If you can find a ride home, you can leave early. I wish I knew how to drive. You will learn some day, but tonight you are going to the reunion. This office layout is confusing. I agree. Our clients have a hard time finding the exit and our offices. I know. Bill got lost the other day looking for the restroom. Should we redesign it? That would be a good idea. I don't think we have the budget for it. That's too bad. But we should do something soon. I know the layout looks like a maze. Do you still have a carport? Yes. Please head in. How much is it per hour? Ten yuan. It's so expensive. It's very common here. You see, we are near the station, and please remember there is a time limit for three hours. Oh, a time limit? This is an inequality clause. Whatever you say, this is our regulation. All right, I think I have to. Excuse me, could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? There's one upstairs, across from the duty-free shop. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Sure. Just follow the signs for transportation. Okay. And. Can you tell me how often they run? They run every twenty minutes or so. And just one more thing, do you know where the restrooms are? Right behind you. Do you see where that sign is? Oh, 
Thanks a lot. What happened, Mark? A tree fell during the windstorm and hit my house. Wow. Is everyone okay? Yes. Luckily, we weren't home at the time. Yes, you are very lucky. I know. It was the big tree in our yard. I can't believe it. Will insurance cover the repair costs? I hope so. I'm waiting for the insurance guy to come right now. What are you going to do? Do you have a place to stay while your house gets fixed? Yeah, we're going to stay at my parents' house. They don't live far from here. That's good. I really liked that tree. It was so big and beautiful. And now it's in my living room. You're a strong man if you can joke about it. Well, if I don't laugh, I'll cry. I would be crying right now. Believe me, Stan, I am crying on the inside. Hey, Sam. You're home. Where's your car? Oh, hey, John. It's in the auto shop. Again? What's wrong with it this time? I'm not sure. It's making a lot of strange noises. That's weird. It's not even an old car. I know. I've only had it for three years. My mechanic doesn't know what the problem is. He doesn't know? What is he doing, then? Trying all different things. I'm getting tired of waiting for him to fix it. You should take it to another mechanic. I should, but I already paid him. He just keeps saying he will fix it. He doesn't sound very trustworthy. I know, I should have gone somewhere else, but he was so cheap. He was the cheapest I could find. Maybe too cheap. Cheap isn't always better. I'm learning that now. You should demand a refund. I wish I could, but it's a little complicated. Why is it complicated? The mechanic is my brother-in-law. Jenny wants a new phone. What's wrong with her current phone? She says it's too old. All of her friends have smartphones now. Why does she want a smartphone? She wants to do social media and check emails. She can't do that with her flip phone? I guess not. Don't you think she's too young for social media and smartphones? I think times are changing and she needs to keep up with her generation. You're more understanding than I am. I'm thinking about getting a motorcycle. Are you crazy? Motorcycles are dangerous. I'll be careful. I really wish you would not get one. Why? What's the problem? I would be worried all the time. Okay, I won't get one. I'll find something else to do. Are you on the phone? Yeah, but I'm on hold. Do you have time for lunch? Not right now. I'm trying to get a free upgrade on my rental car. Are you having any luck? The rental car agent is talking to her supervisor right now. How are you negotiating? I told the agent that our company does a lot of business with this rental company. You're right. We do. Kyle, hold on. The agent is back on the phone. Great. So you're here with Mark. I've been looking all over for you. Congratulations on your marriage, Jane. And nice to meet you, Paul. Thank you. Did you enjoy yourself? Yes, a grand wedding party. Have you opened the gift I gave you? Yes, thanks a lot. Hawaii is a nice place for the honeymoon. What wedding gift did she give you? Two plane tickets to Hawaii. I want to thank you as well, Mark. I love the picture. It's just what we need. I'm glad you like them. It's late. I think I'll have to go now. I'm leaving too. Let me give you a ride. Hello. Is this Adam's Auto Repair Shop? Yes, it is. Can I help you? Yes, please. This is Mr. Butter. I'm calling you about my car. Has it been mended yet? Not yet. It is being mended right now. I see. Tell me, when can I pick it up? Come by at 2 o'clock. I'm sure it will be ready by then. Thank you very much. See you then. Hey, Joe. What happened to your ankle? Hey, Kevin. I broke it while hiking last weekend. That's terrible. 
Ow. We were hiking down a steep trail. I lost my balance and fell. Ouch. Yeah, it hurt badly. How did you get back to your car? It was a long, painful walk. Were you alone? No, I was with my wife, but I'm too heavy for her to carry me. Why didn't you call someone? There was no cell phone coverage in that area. How long do you have to wear your cast? Six weeks. Six weeks? Are you going to miss the marathon next month? Yeah, looks like I am. I'm so disappointed. I've been training for that for a year. Why don't you go in my place? No, thanks. You know what I hate more than hiking? What? Marathons. I have been noticing you for quite a time. You look really strong, man. Thank you. I have kept taking exercise here for almost two years. Two years? That's amazing. I have only been here for two months. I don't think I can hold this on consistently and persistently. It's nothing difficult. You need to make yourself a plan at the beginning. Then just do according to it. Good idea. I also want to have strong muscle like yours. It is quite attractive. Do you have any advice? Sure. The bodybuilding apparatus are necessary for you. After exercise, you need to eat food contains carbohydrate. I will do as you said. Okay, I can't wait to see your progress. Thank you. It's very kind of you. You are welcome. Is Alice young or old? She is young. Is Bill tall or short? He is short. Is Albert's apartment big or little? It's small. Were the last examinations easy or difficult? They were difficult. Is Julie married or single? She is single. Look, that man just fell down over there. Oh, God. We need to see if he's okay. Hey, man, are you all right? He is not responding. We need to call an ambulance. Let me dial 911. 911 here. How can I help you? There is a man passed out. May I have your location, miss? Maple Street, near the church. Okay, miss. The ambulance will be there in two minutes. Please stay there. We'll find you. All right. Please hurry. Why does everyone look nervous? The stock market crashed. What does that mean? Our company lost a lot of money. What does that mean for us? I don't know if the company can survive this big loss. Today is my last day in this department. Where are you going? I'm transferring to a new department. Are you happy about that? Not really. I like being in customer service, but they need help in accounting. That's too bad. Just try to do your best in your new position. I'm so stressed right now. Why? Is there something wrong? I'm so busy at work. I'm forgetting about my personal life. I understand. That happened to me, too. How do you balance it all out? I just set a strict schedule. Work is work and home is home. It's not that easy. I know. But if you don't do that, you're going to get sick. I think that's my problem. I feel sick all the time. Oh, it's so nice to eat out and have time together. What a great birthday present. I'm glad you like it. I'm always happy to treat you to lunch. And I was thinking, you know, we never really have time to just sit and talk. I know. And now we have two hours. And this is a really nice place. Yeah. I come here once in a while. So, what are you going to have? Um... I'm not sure yet, but you order whatever you want. It's your birthday. Whatever I want? Okay, but please don't sing happy birthday when we have dessert. 
If you do, I'll go under the table. <laughs> You'll never change. Always so shy. Well, that's me. Anyway, I think I'll have the chicken Caesar salad. What are you going to have? The salad sounds good. But I'm going to have soup, too, because I'm really hungry. Hey, Joe. What are you doing? Hi, Mark. I'm getting ready to send a package. Do you need to go to the post office? Yeah, but the line is usually very long. Where are you sending your package? Overseas to Korea. Is it a big package? Yeah, some books and clothes for my nephew and nieces. That's nice. Do you think the line will be long today? I think so. Today is Monday. Most people go on Monday since the post office is closed on Sunday. You're right. Maybe I should wait until tomorrow. I think that's a better idea. Thanks for reminding me. I don't like waiting in long lines. Me too. Do you want to go have lunch instead? Sure. I'll be right back. I'm going to put my package away. Hello? Hi, Sue. This is Linda. Are you free for lunch today? No, David is sick today. He couldn't go to school. That's terrible. Is it a cold? Yeah, I think so. He has a cough and a sore throat. My son Billy was sick last week, too. He missed four days of school. Wow, I hope David isn't sick that long. There's a virus going around. We need to stay healthy, too. I know. I've been taking extra vitamin C to stay healthy. Good idea. I think I'll buy some today. Do you need anything at the store? Actually, I do. I couldn't go to the store because I didn't want to leave David alone. I understand. What do you need? Could you please buy me a whole chicken? I want to make David some chicken soup. That's a great idea. I'll drop it off on my way home. Thank you so much. I will pay you back when you drop off the chicken. Okay. I'm going to go to the store after lunch. I will be at your house around 2 p.m. Great. See you then. Don't forget to buy vitamin C. Hello. Can I help you? I'd like to order your daily special. Okay. Would you like it spicy or non-spicy? I guess non-spicy. I've never been asked that before. Would you like white rice or fried rice? Rice? Is this Max's Pizza Place? No, this is a Chinese restaurant. I thought I was ordering pizza. No, our daily special is Mongolian beef with rice. That sounds good. I'll take one order to go with white rice. What are you going to order? I'm going to have a burger. I'm not really hungry. I'm just going to have a salad. You might get hungry later. Then I'll order something to go to. That's a good idea. You always get hungry around midnight. Well, here's the kitchen. Hmm, it's very small. Yes, it isn't very large, but there's a cooker and a fridge. There are some cupboards under the sink. Are there any plates? Yes, there are. Good. Are there any chairs in here? No, there aren't, but there are some in the living room. Hmm, there aren't any glasses. Yes, there are. They're in the cupboard. And uh, where's the toilet? Where is the school? It's between the library and the park. Where is the post office? It's across from the movie theater. Where is the Royal Bank? It's next to the supermarket. Where is the gas station? It's around the corner from the church. Where is the barber shop? It's near the bus station. I've been so busy these days. Do you have another deadline? Yes, I've been working every weekend. How does your family feel about it? They're not happy about it. Working full-time while raising kids is hard work. May I help you? Yes, I need to get this filled. Okay, do you have a prescription card? Yes, here it is. It will take about 10 to 15 minutes. I'll wait here. Okay.